Hello everyone, I'm Nate and welcome to my channel. Today I am reviewing The Dove, a full Delrin yo-yo from Yo-Yo Friends. Let's get into The Dove. In my last video, I reviewed the Koi, uh, which was uh, basically the, I think the newest in the line of Yo-Yo Friends. Uh, I had mentioned that I had never reviewed anything from them, and so they were so kind to send me uh, the Koi, which was their newest, and they also sent me the Dove. This one's been around for a while, so you may be familiar with it, uh, but looking at the market right now, there's not a lot in stock of full Delrin yo-yos. I mean, of course there are a few out there, uh, but for those who really appreciate Delrin, uh, I think this will be a good one for you. Uh, and, and one of the unique things right off the gate, right out of the gate, there's the expression, right out of the gate, is that it comes in a few more colors I've never really seen offered in Delrin before, including this purple. Has anybody ever seen purple in Delrin? I'm not so sure. Maybe the skater, that might have been that might have been one. I never had that one. I don't know if they did one in purple or not, but I really like that. Uh, and then it has um, matching accent uh, finger uh, spin hub things. <laughs> All right, anyway, so uh, let's talk about the Dove here. Um, so it is an H shape yo-yo, right? Um, fairly competition, you know, performance sort of driven in the focus of the design. So as far as Delrin designs go, um, this is probably one of the more competition focused ones I've had in hand. Um, and you can, one of the big differences here is how much, uh, how much beef they gave here on the rims. Uh, and so uh, they're trying, they were trying to make it as I believe from what I can tell, uh, and from their little write up they have about it is that it was trying to be as focused on competition uh, performance as they could for a Delrin, as playable as they possibly could. Of course, it also has a finger spin hub, uh, which is um, gonna be, from just even looks of it, it's pretty easy to hit and pretty consistent, um, and you should be able to pull off some really nice long finger spins if you're into that, uh, or just for, for fun, for fun. Yeah, because yo-yos are for fun, right? Do people still yo-yo for fun? You should try it sometime. Anyways, <laughs> all right, so I, I, again, I like that purple. It comes in a couple different ones. Uh, of course, it comes in white, I believe black, something else. I have a picture up here of all the different options here. A blue, maybe? Anyways, you'll see the picture. It's got a nice slick sort of finish-ish, you know, so you should go grind with that, uh, finger grind with that, okay. Um, you know, as much as you can with Delrin. Um, and the shape of it, of course, with the H shape is gonna be really nice, open, wide gap. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward design as far as H. Um, you know, you're, you're gonna be able to do some decent horizontal. You can see that gap there. Um, so for horizontal play and anything off the plane, uh, you should be able to have enough gap there so that you're not having extra uh, friction as well. So it should be a really good candidate for any of those sort of more performance, um, advanced type tricks, um, things that I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or, or just don't want to anyways but that the, that's not the point but the point is this is going to be a good yo-yo for i think everyone um who doesn't like a good h-shaped yo-yo they're nice and comfortable in the hand uh without it being you know too you know i don't know too difficult or too hard on a catch uh, or too painful or what have you uh but they also kind of give you that best of you know rim weighted and balance and and just kind of a little more performance so it's a nice I feel like H shape is a really nice in between shape between that organic and V. So if you're kind of wanting both of those two worlds of performance and comfort uh, and laid back sort of feel, uh, H shape is a good shape to go with. And that's, I think, a smart thing for a Delrin yo-yo. I don't think most people, when they think of Delrin, they think of the yo-yo they would gravitate towards for practicing for the next or competing in the next competition uh, if they're if there even were competitions. Hey, before we move on, speaking of competitions, um, it's sort of still just kind of a brainchild of mine, um, but uh, I, I've been looking back on uh, some of the classic tricks. You know, when I got into unresponsive play, now I grew up yo-yoing back in middle school in the 90s, okay? Uh, but then I kind of put it down. So I picked up yo-yo again and modern unresponsive yo-yo about 10 so years ago, okay? 
Uh, and one of the first places I went to was Yo-Yo Expert uh, for tricks. And uh, I, I printed off their whole trick list, their ladder list, you know, uh, and I just kind of worked my way through. Some of them I, re I had remembered, some of them were new to me uh, because I kind of missed that, that era of going from unresponsive yo-yos to unresponsive. So anyways, I kind of missed that. Um, and so I kind of had some catch-up work to do, but um, you know, and, and you know, probably about a year in or so, I kind of put that list aside and began to kind of formulate my own style and tricks and so on. And that's kind of where I am still today, right? And so I've been coming back to those tricks and, uh, and for inspiration, and I've been kind of remixing those tricks. Uh, for instance, like Cold Fusion, right? And I've been taking those simple like string trick elements and adapting them to my own style and adding little uh, extra little, um, you know, nuances and elements to them and just making it a new trick with the inspiration of the Cold Fusion. So it's a Cold Fusion remix, so to speak. Um, and so that gave me the inspiration for a little contest uh, that we're gonna start in February. Um, and I've been talking to Andre Boulet from uh, Yo-Yo Expert, you know, and uh, about how to do this and, and kind of getting his support with that. And so there'll be more details of that in the future. Uh, but essentially what we're, what we're brainstorming right now, and I wanna see what you think about this in the comments, uh, is to do uh, a trick, a classic trick a month. So we may start like in February with Cold Fusion. So take the elements of Cold Fusion, know that trick well, so learn it if you didn't know it, and then make that something different. Remix it, right? Uh, and so that would be the idea, and there'll be, it'll be some kind of contest form. I'm not sure what the prize is yet or anything like that. Again, just a sort of a brainchild right now, but uh, I think it's a cool idea. So let me know if you're interested in that and be like, yeah, I think that'll be really cool, and um, I, I think I would actually participate in that. So again, it would be kind of monthly, so it'd be a different trick every month. And so maybe in March we'll do something else, okay? A, a whole other trick. Anyways, that's the idea. That's my brainchild right now. There'll be more details coming out in the next few weeks about that. So I'll be looking for that like February 1st for the details on everything, okay? Uh, all right, let's go and actually play the dove and see how it plays on the string. All right, welcome back to the on the string section where we actually throw the yo-yo for review um, <laughs> with the dove here from Yo-Yo Friends. Um, yeah, like, uh, you know, one of the great things about Delrin and plastic yo-yos in general, whether it's Delrin or polycarbonate or whatever you're, you know, working with, is that when it's cold like today, like it's 30 degrees right now, and I still like to yo-yo outside as much as I can. Obviously, I yo-yo outside for reviews because, well, my house is a little bit noisy with uh, small children, and the lighting's horrible, and um, I just, anyways... I like the natural lighting. I like being out here. I like just yo-yoing outside in general. Uh, so if you're in a colder climate like myself in central Ohio or even colder, um, you know, plastic's a good one because you're not just freezing your hands off. So it's kind of a nice one to go to. Um, but Delrin also has a unique feel, right? So if you've ever played Delrin yo-yos, uh, you know, it's machined, right? It's, so it's not your typical like, you know, mold plastic. And so it's a little bit more precise, uh, typically a lot smoother uh, in play uh, than like a polycarbonate or some other kind of plastic um, that's molded, you know. And so you kind of get like a, I feel like this on the string, it's kind of a blend between like a high-end metal yo-yo that's going to be A-grade and like a, a cheaper, you know, plastic yo-yo, which I like. I like those yo-yos too. But as far as like the vibe, you know, I don't feel like any Delrin I've ever played and, and this is a quality Delrin. This is as good as I think they get as far as smoothness. It's never quite as smooth as like a high-end metal yo-yo. So even the Koi that I played, which was a budget kind of metal from them, it's not as smooth as that. Uh, but man, I'll tell you what, this is as smooth as I've played for a while. It's a very, very smooth uh, yo-yo. So this would be A grade as far as the, the, the quality of Delrin goes. So let's just get that out of the way. Some of that has to do with the design. Um, I think it was a good design to have it as an H shape, but really rim weighted as well. Um, and so, you know, you get a, a very stable yo-yo um, where, you know, I don't know, uh, maybe if it was a different kind of design, maybe even like an, an a, uh, organic, you know, perhaps it wouldn't be quite as smooth. Uh, but yeah, it's really, really smooth. I really like that. Um, let's do some basic tricks here. I talked about grinds for a little bit. Actually grinds really well. I had to reach for that a little bit. 
Uh, oh yeah, another totally random thing that I forgot to mention. If you've never bought from Yo-Yo Friends, which again, I this is my second one to review, both the Koi and this one, and I don't know if it's standard with every single Yo-Yo they put out there, but it came with two axles. I've never had a Yo-Yo that I've bought or reviewed that came with two axles, so that's kind of nice. Um, I don't see that as like they're perceiving a problem, <laughs> but I don't know if you've ever lost uh, an axle like on the carpet. I have. There are a number of yo-yos that I have had to like find an, a new axle because I just gave up finding it. And the axle on this is silver, so it does show up a little bit better maybe than like a, a black colored axle. Um, but anyways, all that to say, it's kind of nice. Uh, I have a spare one and I can either put it back in this one or a yo-yo that has the same size axle. So that's kind of nice. So it came with, we came with two uh, in the pack with the string. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, gaps, good. You know, you can get quite a few string wraps on there. It's gonna, it's gonna be really easy, nice and wide open, as you expect from an H-shape. So horizontal is gonna be really solid for that. Um, you know, it's for somebody who has a little bit more capability for horizontal tricks and has spent more time with that, you're gonna like this yo-yo for that. It does have, it, it's exactly what you'd want for something that you're gonna push off the plane. Um, finger spins. Finger spins are good. Uh, I actually just missed the middle there and I kind of just popped it up a little bit and tried to hit it. So it's very easy to hit. I'm losing spin, but you can spin for quite a while, especially if you get a nice solid throw on that. Uh, finger spins are a breeze and a heck of a lot of fun. So who doesn't like finger spins? And so you're gonna definitely wanna reach for that uh, for this for a, a, a solid finger spin ready yo-yo. Rejections are really nice. Um, no wall there at all, like virtually none, uh, goes right into the recess uh, area. So really nice for things like rejections. Uh, again, I think they hit the, you know, the mark here as far as giving you a Delrin Yo-Yo that performs as best as it can. Um, and uh, some great color. Um, so that's the, that's the Dove Delrin Yo-Yo from Yo-Yo Friends. Um, all right, that's going to do it for now. Until the next one. Later.